There we go. On a Pro 43 scanner. Sorry, guys. I was wondering why it was not receiving. So it's passing overhead almost. I don't know if you guys could see it, but this is where it is. That bright dot that you see there this is the International Space Station, guys. So, and this is this is on the Pro 43 scanner, as you can see here. for that this is part of the image now was this the scanner was unfortunately 20 kilohertz too far I didn't notice but uh, shows you this is a pro 43 good old scanner from uh, well uh, what is it 90s early 90s from Radio Shack and uh, little this is a amateur radio antenna by the way uh, you see it's flexible this is a 2 meter, 70 centimeter Nagoya um, amateur antenna. So it's kind of resonating on 2 meters and 70 centimeters. So maybe that helps. But even with the stock rubber duck, honestly, I'm pretty sure it would have worked without a flaw. So you guys have seen it. Now I've uh, positioned the camera on the other side so I don't see when people see stuff. But uh, this is kind of cool. I don't think I'm going to get the next picture, but uh, it's sad that I didn't actually notice earlier I was 20 kilohertz off because, uh, I mean, this picture, I think I would have had pretty much all of it if I would have noticed uh, reception was great. So there's another pass. It's at 1.30 in the morning. Um, there I stay up I don't know I'm a little tired tonight but we'll see who knows what the future brings and because uh, it's almost midnight now uh, and uh, it's kind of cool when you look at all of these things that you can do with radio this is why you got to diversify your hobby because this is how you keep it alive you keep it alive by doing different things not just one not just shortwave listening, not just one type of listening. It's too weak to really decode anything. Can I hear it? It's there. probably too far away now but uh, hey that's the decoding stuff I hope tonight that some of this stuff I mean, you've seen a lot of comments of, of some of you guys saying uh, you know I'm not I haven't done this yet I've never really tried this and uh, you know I don't know where to start and uh, how to do it and I, I really need to uh, tell yourself one thing I really need to is you have to it's not I really need to take the time you know life is short take the time to learn take the time to see how it works look at the software look at what's available I mean just a scanner radio is enough uh, the FT65 was a amateur transceiver which was good because really it resonates really well on the ham bands but uh, this is the fun of you know uh, and if you're a 
a, a space buff. If, if anything that is astronomy or space exploration is cool, this brings both the radio and the space exploration together, which is even cooler. Um, you know, telling someone that you heard the International Space Station, which they won't believe you, by the way, on a little radio like this, uh, it's, it's kind of cool. So, I don't know if there's going to be another video for the next pass. It depends if I go to sleep or not. If there is, well, I didn't go to sleep. So, I uh, hope you enjoyed the series tonight. It's always a lot of fun to do these. And it's, you know, kind of cool. Very hot and very warm still.